Welcome back to our second segment of Wisdom of Islam. Uh, in this segment, we actually uh, discuss uh, any doubts that you may have uh, regarding religion or otherwise. So, uh, Mulana Fahad, I, I, I have received some doubts from, uh, from our viewers and I would present one of the doubts which is kind of, uh, uh, it, it is important and it is going on um, in the minds of the youngsters here. And the doubt is that uh, uh, we believe in Islam uh, that uh, as they say here, Jesus Christ or uh, Isa al Islam. Uh, he is going to be returning to this world, okay? Yes. And once he returns to this world, Islam is going to be booming after that and it's going to be on top of the world. So, yes. so now some Christians say that, that the Muslims, when they believe that um, uh, Hazrat Isa al-Islam would be returning to this world and Islam is going to flourish and all that, so why don't they start following uh, Jesus Christ in their language? from now on because any of his teachings are great. So, so why to wait for him to return and then start following him? Why not start following him from today? What do you have to say about that? Well, that's a very interesting and a very important uh, question that you asked. Yeah. And the way this question has been asked looks like the people don't even understand what it means to follow Prophet Isa alayhi salam or in other words Prophet Jesus alayhi salam. Right. What it means to follow Prophet Jesus, I'll tell you a short story and this right. would uh, clear for you what it means to follow these prophets. It is uh, one of the uh, one of the stories from the history that in the time of Imam Abu Hanifa rahimahumullah ta'ala, one time he went for Hajj. Okay. So he was not in town. And in that time, some of the people who were Jewish they started raising this propaganda that uh, we should follow Musa alayhi salam or uh, Prophet he, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa right. In following Musa alayhi salam, we find more unity right. because everybody, uh, everybody believes in Prophet Musa alayhi salam. Right. But there is lack of unity in following Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because there, his followers are limited. Right. But, but if we can follow Musa, then there is more unity. Like Moses, right? That, just like in Moses. Right. So he goes and raises this propaganda. People, the common people, that uh, they get uh, intimidated by, by these, uh, you know, oh, propagandas. They bring this to the school of Imam Abu Hanifa. Imam Abu Hanifa is not here. But he's a very wise, smart man, and he's not here. But one of the students in the schools, he stood up and he said, "I will answer." He okay. So he went in front of these big rabbis who are raising this question, and. Uh, they said, no, no, we want some, want someone bigger. He yeah, said, so, so some more adult, yeah. says, yes, older person, some right. more older person. And right. he's like, I'm not old, but I'm yet, I'm this, I'm student of a person who is very wise and who is yeah. very knowledgeable. So I'll try to, uh, try to do my best. And if I don't, then we'll consult when Imam, uh, Imam Abu Hanifa, ta'ala, when he comes back. So he starts, the Jewish rabbi, he starts, what is better? Unity is better or segregation is better? Right. Of course, he says unity is better. He said, uh, but you have to think about it twice because now the, I'm going to present you something and after that you will change your mind. He said, no, yeah. I won't change your mind. What is your question? He said, where is more unity? Where, when you follow Moses, when you follow Prophet Musa alayhi salam, or there is more unity when you pro pro follow, follow Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam? Because we all, we all follow Prophet Musa, Musa alayhi salam, but only Muslims, they follow Prophet, uh, right, uh, Prophet right, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So he says, which Musa? So this boy, he says, which Musa? Now the rabbis are a little surprised. You don't know who Musa is? Have you not read Quran? He said, yes, I have read Quran. So what Musa are you talking about? He said, the rabbi goes, we are talking about the same Musa that you uh, you read in the Quran about. Yeah, yeah. So the young man said, oh, that very Musa that we read about in the Quran? Rabbi said, yes. He said, yeah, I follow that Musa. And because I follow that Musa, I follow, I believe in Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa I bring Iman in Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa because that Musa, when he left, he said to his ummah that after me, there's going to be a Prophet who's going to be Khatamu Nabiyin, who's going to be the seal of all the Final, Prophets. Yeah. yeah, he's going to come and everybody have, if you find his time, you have to believe in him. Right. So I follow Musa, that's why I believe in, in Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Now these people had no answers. Right. You know, so very easily he 
he uh, removed that doubt and he he won the debate this is what it means what do you mean what do what does it really mean to follow prophet isa alayhi salam because prophet isa alayhi salam it mentions in the quran he said that when he came with his uh, when he came as a prophet he said after me there is going to be a prophet who is going to come with the clear signs and right. his name would be ahmad and right. you have to have your uh, right. iman in him right so if you want to follow Prophet Isa as you claim to be as Christians, yeah. then first off, you have to leave Christianity and enter first. into Islam. Yeah, right. You have to enter into Islam because right. this is the word of Jesus. Right. Right. And secondly, uh, we would follow Isa salam when he comes. And when he comes, he is going to follow the same rulings of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Exactly. It comes yeah. in the hadith very clearly that when he descends on the, uh, on the east side of the minaret in Syria and Sham, uh, it would be the time of Fajr. Right. And Imam Mahdi alayhi salam, he would have moved to the Musalla of the uh, Imamat and he would start leading. Right. And at the same time, uh, Prophet Jesus alayhi salam would descend. And when Imam Mahdi alayhi salam would see Jesus, uh, Prophet Isa alayhi salam, he would tell him to lead the Salah. And the first Salah, Prophet Isa alayhi salam would say, no, Imamukum minkum, your Imam is going to be amongst you. Yeah. This is the Ummah of Muhammad. Yes. So Ummah of Muhammad has a right to lead. Right. So the first Salah, he would lead behind the Imam of Ummah of Muhammad وسلم, to show that I'm here only to follow. Right. I'm not coming here to give any lead. Yes. So even though he comes as a prophet, just like you're a president of a country and you go to any other president, hmm. you have a status of being a president, but your constitution is not applicable. Yes. Yeah, you follow the constitution of the okay. country that yes, you are in. Exactly. That's how. That's how it is. Yes. So this is uh, this is what it means to follow Prophet Isa alayhi salam. That he's not going to come with his own rulings. He's going to come to follow Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And then what is the purpose of him coming? It also comes in the hadith that every prophet, when he was informed about the greatness and the completeness of the religion of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the qualities of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he made dua that Ya Allah, either uh, make me uh, yeah, or make me in the Ummah of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or make me such that I help his cause. Okay. So every Prophet had asked Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to grant him uh, the, uh, to grant him the time so that they can help the cause of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and this dua was accepted in the favor of Prophet Isa Alaihi Wasallam. So Prophet Isa Alaihi Wasallam is going to descend to help the cause of the religion of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and comes in the hadith when he comes even though all the Christians they'll change their faith and they will enter into the fold of Islam so, because they will see Jesus. So he's not coming to promote Christianity as Christians say yes. actually he's coming to promote his religion which is Islam. Which is Islam. Okay and, and if anything all the other religion people uh, Christianity and Judaism uh, would actually be attracted towards Islam. They would be That's all what would happen. That's what would happen. Okay, and right. also, uh, one of the very beautiful answers which my uh, my sheikh and my teacher used to give, yes. Mufti Munir Ahmad Akhun, Damad Barkatul he says that, you know, his example of Prophet Isa alayhi salam coming, it's just like that of a president-elect. Right. You know, when some uh, when you elect a president and he's a He's not a. He's not, uh, he's not, he's not, yeah. he's not yeah. a full fledged. He's not taking an oath yet. Yeah. He is a president elect. At the time when he's president elect, he's called president, but his orders are not executed. Right. They are waited until he takes the oath. In the same way, Prophet Isa is a Nabi elect. Okay. He's a prophet elect. Yeah. But he's going to come, and people would follow him after he starts coming. We cannot. We are not supposed to follow him as of yet. Before, before he, before right. he comes. I, I, I get that. So, I, I, I appreciate, you know, your, your answer was uh, detailed and, and it was very uh, easy to follow. Uh, uh, your explanation is as actually very believable to me. Uh, yeah, so thank you. so I, I believe to all. Um, thank you for very much. And, and again, we need to take a quick break. Uh, we come back from the break and go for the third segment. Ladies and gentlemen, a little break and should be back soon.